After a few weeks and maybe a month of just... Just toxicity. Is that even a word? Who knows? Manly have sacked their head coach, Des Hasler. Effective immediately, according to the Daily Telegraph. There were rumours. I made a video about a week ago, and it has just dropped. There were rumours last night that Des had agreed to terms, and he would coach in 2023 before Seabolt took over. I don't know if the club just decided to rip the band-aid off, or that Des has just gone back on his word, but... This is such a horror... I don't want to say horrible decision, because I'm going to back Seabolt, and it's pretty much guaranteed. There was an interview with Scott Penn the other day, but it's guaranteed pretty much that Seabolt's going to take over effective immediately, and when you compare their resumes, one's a club legend, one was at the club for a few years, one's a two-time premiership winner, including winning the last two premierships at our club. The other had one good season with a very good roster at the Rabbitohs, and full credit to him. And then he took the Broncos from the top eight to a wooden spoon. When you compare them, there's just nothing. And the bad part is, is Des isn't even a bad coach, in my opinion. We were in the top four a year ago. He literally got the best out of the best season of all time from a player, Tommy Turbo, last year. Des obviously had something in that. We lost him early this year. Manly didn't have their best 1-17 once in 2022. And despite that, going into that Dragons game before Jake Croker went down with COVID. We were in the top eight. We had just smashed the Knights. They, well, COVID stuff happened. Then the Pride jersey. We don't win another game. And by all reports, Des had no idea about it. There was some leaked email stuff that came out the other day. That, but that's probably just the pens trying to make Desi look bad. Obviously, I don't know. But it's not a coaching decision. Because if it was a coaching decision, Des would still be in charge. So it's not that. It's a management decision. There are reports that Dez didn't lock Scott Penn out of the locker room after the final game against the Bulldogs. So there's obviously tension there. The new CEO, he's come in. God, there's just liars, aren't they? Like, Penn comes out a few months ago and says, we're going to be wearing the Pride jersey again in 2023. If they do that, then you can kiss the season goodbye again. And that Dez has the coach for as long as he wants it. Not even a couple months later, Dez is gone and we're hiring Anthony Seabolt who, like I said, when you start their coaching against each other, it's horrible. It's not a coaching decision. This is strictly a management decision because Dez obviously wants too much power. I don't know whether it's the Fulton family. I don't know whether it's the new CEO. I don't know whether it's Scott Penn, but there obviously is some tension there. I was hoping that Dez would stay for the year. But they've obviously decided just to rip the band-aid off. I've got none of this planned. But it's so unfair, isn't it? Like, if Tommy stays, Manly make the eight. If that Pride jersey stuff doesn't happen, considering I know they ended up getting smashed seven straight games, but considering how soft their run home looked to be, Manly finish in the top eight if it's not for the Pride jersey stuff or even the COVID round. Just a horrible, horrible few months for the club. And now the Travojevic brothers, they've voiced concerns. And they're the ones who really should be running. I mean, I love DCE. He's my favorite player of all time. But Jake and Tom, they're the ones who are building the club around. And even Ben, because you got to keep Jake and Tom happy. So you got to keep Ben happy as well. If we lose them, then you can book Manly in for bottom four for a while now. Because, like, the roster's good. And I thought it was Desi's. They all seemed to love Desi. It was not a player thing. It's not like the Dragons. There are all these talks about Manly's player rift. Well, at least Manly, all their players shut up to their end-of-season awards. Only three of the Dragons players did, including Ben Hunt, who was pretty much on his way to England the night be the next day. So, it just sucks. Like I said, it's obviously not a coaching decision. It's obviously a management decision. It's awful. It sucks. I'm concerned. I don't think there's going to be a place for Manly in the top eight because I think their roster is a bit worse. Now they don't even have Desi... You could tell. They sacked his assistants. They don't want him there. They've forced him out. They've put tried to put the blame of the Pride jersey on him. It's really... Like, I don't know what's going on. Like, there's Desi had a rough exit at the Dogs. He had a rough exit at Manly the first time. So, Des is a common denominator. But, from the outside looking in, it doesn't look good from the club. Hopefully, this new CEO can actually stick around. Because I think Manly has had seven CEOs in the past eight years. So, if he's a long-term director then I guess can't blame him too much for this decision. But if he's gone in six weeks, I'm going to go to Scott Penn's house and sit him down. We're going to have to have a convo because I need to know what is going on. Because, look, 
I got two Penrith Premier, two Penrith Premiership shirts. So, so I, should I go for them next year? Don't know. Now I'm just rambling and I'm not making sense. I'm gonna end the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you got an extra ten bucks lying around, maybe you just chuck it on Manly not to feature in finals football.